everyone who watched Matt's live feed, the messages of support have been overwhelming. Thank you so much. It's absolutely imperative we remain within the parameters of the law. Any adverse reactions may have massive consequences for me. I would just like to say, I cannot believe the overwhelming support that I get. 25, 30 emails a day, letters, cards from everybody all over the country, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, you name it, people are writing to me saying what a disgusting thing's happened to me. How could this have happened? And that Matt's live feed was fantastic, bringing awareness to people. All we're trying to do is safeguard my son and get me released back out of it. Thank you so much, everyone. If you only knew the power of the people, what you're doing together collectively, it's massive. And, it, and then people have to listen to the voice. It's the voice of the, of, of, the, of the masses, not one or two people shouting. It's everybody come together. It is absolutely fantastic, and thank you so much. I've had a few complications with visits. They said I couldn't have a visit for two weeks, um, which is unheard of. Um, I only had one phone number cleared for, t for nearly two weeks. I've just had some more put on yours. They just completely incommunicado cut me off. Yeah. Um, but that's because of my status and stuff like that. What, what, what category have you gone back in at? I'm a DCAT. Oh, you're DCAT because you, cause you left as an uh, open, yeah. Yeah, I'm a DCAT. I'm not a risk to the public. I'm still a DCAT. Yeah, she, she stays there. The trick is, what was she doing at the handover, mate? She's not meant to be there. And she was there on, and what the police have done, the police have bailed me to go back and get the, the door ring bell to show her there on the Saturday when she runs out to the car, opens the car door and throws the photograph album in without a word. Nothing in the handover book over six weeks and Cooper doesn't want the book, nothing. Nothing in one of the three phones that she uses about Cooper doesn't want the, hand, the, the photograph album, nothing. And in that photograph album, you've got pictures of his horse riding lessons, uh, on the train in London, running around at home. Right, what she did was she the, phone, the ring door ring bell in the interview. I gave the interview, and then they showed the the video. The door ring bell shows this that she's standing on the passenger side car. I'm in the driver's seat. I've got a seat belt on. Right, you can't see me with a seat belt on, but I had the seat belt on. Okay, because she came running out the car after I locked the car door. She got Kevin open the door, and I undone the window automatically. Only a little bit. So she said. Cooper doesn't want this photograph album. I said, take, take the photographs he wants and puts them in there himself. Of course he wants it. She goes, no, he don't. And then you see her on the door ring bell, lean down and go to push it in. I put my hand up and I've gone, I'm filming this, I'm filming this. I've grabbed, my, grabbed the camera, my phone. Mm. And I went, I'm going to record you now. She stepped back from the car, paused for a second and then went, you just stood with me, you just stood with me and run into the house. She submitted a photograph to the police. It is pink, it isn't even red. And she said that as she's, pushed, as she's gone down to push it in, by me putting my hand up, it's caused a knock on her nose, which would have been gone within seconds if it did happen. Yeah. It's an absolute stage attack, because I turned around to the police and I emailed them after the event. I told my probation officer and I emailed the police and said, what is she doing there? That was a staged attack, a staged performance, what she did. She shouldn't have been there and she keeps coming out to the car and her mother comes out to the car and they're not meant to. What are they doing? Absolute joke. And I'm sitting there, she said, the judge looked at me and said, you're a convicted contract killer. And I think, I'm telling you the truth, she bleeding hits me. Mm. And then when it came out, she does hit me, she's hit me over there with paintings and all the rest of it. That's when he placed a penal order on her. He said, I'm warning you, Miss Fridget, you will go to prison if you continue. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense now, all of this, Kev, because I'd had the bits and bobs from you, but yeah, not the full. Now I understand. So this Did you get my letter? No, I still haven't got it yet. You sent that yeah. about a week ago, didn't you? Yeah, bloody terrible. Here's what they, they do with my mail. Because I'm on the public protection order as they go into a certain department and they just scrutinise everything and it, yeah. it's just mad. But, you know, there's more people we called in deal than anywhere in the country, I believe, because of that police officer, Nick, that bird. Yeah. And he's from Deal, which is Kent. Yeah. And there was an out-and-office probation officer that really called me in Kent. My probation officer was aware of what happened. I told her everything. And I said, I've emailed the police. They said, what are you going to do about it? They said, something has to be done to protect me. And I said that to them. Yeah. And here I am, Matt. She's got what she set out to do. If the, when the evidence comes in, how long do you think that will be? And can it all be overturned and thrown out? I've been bailed till May, OK, pending further investigations. But as the police officer said to me, he questioned me about it. He said, well, 
It's very difficult even to reach over and open a passenger side door. I'm not a very big bloke, Matt, like you. I'm not six foot three or six foot four. I'm being six foot, okay? To lean over with a seatbelt on, you could open the door just about right. But to be able to assault someone outside of the car, you'd have to be Stretch Armstrong. Oh, it was on the opposite side of the thing as well. I didn't really... She was on the passenger side. Oh, right. do you know what? Right. Yeah. Right, and Matty, it also shows that she only led down to the window. She, didn't, yeah. she couldn't put her head in the in the car because the window was only open a few inches, which yeah. confirms she was trying to push the album through. And you've got all that on a ring doorbell, yeah? Got it on the ring door. You see her lean down to the window and come back up. There we go, Matty. Right. Well, I record, yeah. we've got all this on tape, Kev, to, to let all your supporters know and let everyone know. Matty, put it on, mate, yeah. because... All of this has been emailed to the police. I've told my probation officer all of this. My probation officer was aware of this, what happened. She didn't really call me there and then when I told her. I said, I tell my probation officers everything. I'm clear and they are aware of of uh, the other one who stays in attack on her. She got caught out line. And they said to me, you'd be in prison, Kevin, if we hadn't caught her out line. So no one ever teach that on me, who's now in cahoots with the other one, the other my ex. She tried to, she stays the thing on me and got caught out, bang to right's line. Yeah. Mate, we're going to get cut off. Do All right. Call you back after. Okay, mate. Yeah, that's fine. You're going to get cut off now, All yeah? Right, ten minutes. Okay, mate. All right, mate. Bye, mate. Cheers, mate. Bye, bye, bye. Completely stays the scene to have me recalled. The questions that must be asked are, why did break the court order? In that, she was not to be present at handovers, collections and drop-offs. If Cooper never wanted the photograph album, why would he select the photographs he had taken on his own camera that I bought him? Of his horse riding lessons and many more magical events we shared together. Once again, thank you for your support. Please sign the change.org and share the same. My very best wishes to you all. And remember, together collectively, you the people are a force to be reckoned with. Take care and thank you once again for your help. Kevin Lane. Yeah, so what it is, I've got a... When people are sending in the money and that, that gives me money to fund a barrister. Last time it cost me 24 grand, okay, to go to court. Cost me that and I got nowhere, but nonetheless, um, the legality is I have to go back to the family court, because when I went to the family court, I said I was hiring a private detective to, to uh, because she was lying to the court. She was hoodwinked the court. And... So we're still recording, Kev. Are you happy for this still to be recorded? Yeah, bloody fine. Listen, right. Mate, all I've told you is perfect because it's exactly what has happened at the court. Now, she reported me for stalking, so I, I had to send Folkestone Police Station all of my messages between us and answer them. But I'll say, right, what does Cooper want for Christmas? No comment, no comment. Uh, or she says, Cooper's ill, don't bother coming down tomorrow. And I said, well, I'm coming down to bring him a, a, birth, a, Christmas, a, a get well card. Um, he might be feeling better in the morning. He might want to see his daddy. That's the video when you see me going to the shop and she's at work. She said, I'm ill, Cooper's ill, do not come down tomorrow. So I sent folks in police station all the messages, okay? They've come back to me two weeks before she staged the attack and turned around and said, you have only attended on court-ordered days to see your son. No further action. So then I said to her, what are you going to do about consistently trying to have me recalled? Let's not forget, she had a penal order placed on her by the court for lying and perjury and contempt of court because she told the court she doesn't hit me she's never hit me then we got messages on her phone that says yeah i do hit him and i've smashed him overhead with a painting and the mum turned around and said yeah and i hit him and all when he was on crutches all stuff like this so she was out in contempt of court she complained about the contact center i had to see my son at a contact center okay and she she objected to that and said there were safeguarding issues in the contact center she had to apologize to the contact center and then she's done this um, stalking uh, accusation that comes to nothing. He said, "No, you've only attended on court order days to see your son." Hmm. Right. And I said, "What are you going to do about it?" They yeah. Done nothing about it. They're not doing anything. So everything we spoke about is already in the in the public domain. It's been in, in the public hand. domain. Right. I've this said is in court. I've said I've, I've contacted social services. I've contacted the police. I've done everything I can, and I've told the court I was getting a private detective. So yeah. she's done everything she can to get me put back in prison. And there's a lot more stuff I haven't mentioned. I mean, she breaks a contact order consistently. I've got the court orders, mate. It's an absolute yeah. joke. Uh, how are you coping, mate, in there at the moment? How are you getting on? Well, with the support, 
support I get is absolutely fantastic. I cannot I cannot thank everybody enough. That I've got emails and letters every day. I don't have a telly, so like, all I can't write tonight because my light was broke this morning when I got out of bed. Um, so I'm in the fucking dark, really. But um, it doesn't matter. Um, Are you training? I'm coping. I'm, yeah, I'm training myself. Doing like 500 press ups, 500 sit ups a day. I've been in the gym three times now. Yeah. Nice one, Kev. You're welcome, mate. And look, thanks again, mate. The sooner you get it up there, the better. And if you call my phone, Ricky should be able to send you the footage. Yep. I'll be able to get them to you. Don't worry about that. This is all corroborating evidence that the authorities have had. Yeah. Okay, Unbelievable. Mate. Yeah. Why do you think I'm making it up? They've actually had all of this, mate. They should have been acting on this a long time ago. And it corroborates Cooper by saying, Coop, children and animals do not lie. Yeah. And he weren't coerced, he, he was just fluently talking away. And you see it, mate, when Katie sees it and you see it, you're going to go, wow, that is so powerful. Yeah. So I'll, call, I'll call your number then, Kev, yeah? Pardon, mate? I'll call your number and speak to Ricky. Yeah, buddy, call it. And it, it's on the videos. I think he's, he has seen it. And he's, he was in the car talking about it. Um, Marcus has got it on his on his uh, phone. I know he has. Yeah. Either way, Ricky's got it. And when you see it, mate, it is like, I'm telling you what, watch the response you get when they see his, him talking on the video. It is Oh, so you, you want that out as well, do you? <sighs> mate, it's gold. It's TV. Yeah, mate, yeah, when yeah. you see it, you'll see why. Oh, OK. It absolutely corroborates everything I've been saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's good to have it all there. It's good to have everything there in black and white. Got it all in black and white. I've emailed the police. I've got emails. I've got everything. Social services, the whole lot. The courts, the lot. Yeah. Now, the barristers are going to collate all of this together make, and then go forward and put the case back to the court on an emergency hearing, which is why all the funds that people send in are going to pay for the barrister and everything else. That's brilliant. They've really, yeah, they're all coming through. Yeah, brilliant, mate. It's all going into a fund, mate, and it's going to pay for it, literally. Yeah. Just for one here, just for the application, 300 and something quid. That's about the other cost. It's a monkey just to get to court, mate. Is there a chance you might get out in May? Yeah, before, maybe, because if the police have no further action, well, they might slip my uh, my probation officer has to make an application to the probation service to be released on no further action. Yeah, fingers crossed that's, that's the result then, before May. Hopefully, mate, and then hopefully they're going to charge her for fabricating the case, breaching the court order, which she's already in contempt of. She's breached the order. She can't answer why she didn't put nothing in her handover book. She can't answer why she didn't use any of the phones to message me. It was all staged. She can't answer why she ran out to the car and threw the photograph album in. She can't answer why she told Cooper to leave the bag on the pavement when I dropped him off. Leave your bag there, Cooper, she said. And I yeah. thought, oh, it might be because she thinks it's heavy. But no, mate, she didn't want the photograph album coming back into the house because it yeah. makes him so happy. And they don't give a fuck what the judge says. You ain't seeing your son. That was on a court-ordered day when I went down to collect him. She, she was laughing. Stuck her fingers up at me on video. What is a man to do? Yeah. I, I can understand And you, 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 drive, you drive two or three hours down there, didn't you? And two or three hours back. Two and a half hours there. Sometimes I, I drop him off at five o'clock and don't get back till nine, depending on traffic. I got down there on the Saturday, mate, to pick him up right for the visit on the 19th, and she phoned me at quarter past nine. No, I've driven all the way down there and said, I'm ceasing contact. And I thought, you cow, you know I've driven all this way, when she usually does it on a Friday evening to say you ain't getting him. But no, she let me drive all the way down there and told me that morning when she knew I was in the area to collect him. So I go and get him bacon sandwiches from a lovely little place called Ginger's. And I go and get him bacon sandwiches from there and then take him and he eats them on the way, on the drive back and that. So she, her, her actions are always spiteful. Yeah. It's, it's so sad that she, she don't take any... Con I mean, horse riding lessons on Black Fern. You know, and he has, he has uh, magic lessons from the Magic Circle. The weekend I picked him up, he was due to go to a fire station and have a one-to-one -to -one tour around the fire station and the fire engine. Yeah, hopefully, mate, it won't be long. It'll be weeks, hopefully, till you're back out oh, and doing mate, it again. So, mate, get the do back on and, and get the... I've done a second book in here about my recall. Have you? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm right now. Every day I do a journal and it's going to be a book when I get out about the pitfalls. I mean, look, I'm in my cell now. I've got no bleeding electric. I've got no light. I reported it this morning as soon as we opened. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in a right under torch. I've got a little torch, a little pound thing that my mate gave me, Kevin, bless him, and uh, I can write under that. 
and, and read letters and I'm replying to people's emails as we speak. That's all I do all day long. It's, it's reply to people and, and, yeah. and write my journal and train. Yeah. Stay in myself. I'll do my bird the old. Mate, we're going to get cut off, mate. God bless right. you, mate. Love you, mate. Love you, mate. Cheers, mate. Love you. Bye-bye, mate. Bye-bye. I'll see you soon, mate. Bye-bye.